Today I'm going to show you how I flick. And if you're not familiar with what flicking is, flicking is just one way of knitting. And I just want to say that there is no right or wrong way to knit. There are many ways. You can be a flicker, you can be a thrower, you can knit continental, you can knit English style. Whatever method you choose, choose the method that is right for you. The one that's ergonomically comfortable for you because at the end of the day, we're all getting to the same place. Whether we're knitting a shawl, a hat, mittens, a jumper, sweater, cardigan. The whole point of this video is just for me to show you another way to knit if you are looking for one. I personally love flicking because number one, it's, it's how I learned, it's how I taught myself, and it just feels comfortable for me. And compared to other ways of knitting that I've tried, I find it's the fastest. So if you are looking to speed up your knitting or just find a more comfortable way of threading your yarn through your fingers, this might be a technique for you. So let's get started. The other day I cast on the Kala Shawl, a pattern by Natasha Hornby. And and I'm going to be using this to demonstrate just because it incorporates both knit and purl stitches. When it comes to flicking, typically this is done English style, so you're holding the working yarn in your right hand and holding your work in your left hand. So you knit with your right hand. The way that I tension the yarn around my fingers is that I'm holding my palm up towards the sky and then I take the working yarn and wrap the yarn around my pinky and bring it up and over the next three fingers on my hand, and then wrap it around my index finger twice, like so. Wrap it around my pinky, behind the next three fingers on my hand, and wrap it twice around my index finger. And we're ready to go. And the more you do this, the quicker it'll become. You won't even know you're doing it. It'll become second nature. If you have your yarn threaded the way I showed you, um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have all your stitches scooched up as close to the tip as you can without them falling off. Uh, same goes for the other needle. And you're basically working at the, the tippy tips of your knitting needles. Even this gap right here between my finger and the knitting needle is just a smidge too long. So I'm just gonna re-thread that. Yeah, like so. Your finger's gonna do the throwing essentially. So it's gonna wrap around the knitting needle and you're just gonna knit the stitch, insert the needle, wrap it around. And you can see already how minimal my movements are compared to the throwing method. So, you know, just to speed it up a little bit to show you. Yeah, if I were throwing, I would be wrapping around the yarn like so, doing all these movements, although you can pick up speed. I'm not knocking that you cannot knit fast while throwing. You certainly can with a lot of practice. You, you definitely pick up speed. But if you notice, there are a lot of, you know, movements in here, especially like in my shoulder. But with flicking, those movements are definitely minimized. And the more muscle memory you build, the quicker you become. So you're basically cutting your knitting time in half, uh, which is which is really cool if you're powering, trying to power through miles and miles of stockinette or garter stitch or what have you. Let me slow down again so you can see what my fingers are doing. I should also mention if you find that the tensioning between your fingers isn't really working for you, you can also thread the yarn as you would if you were knitting continental. So you don't have to wrap the yarn around your pinky. You can skip that step. You can just drape the yarn or around the back of your hand and wrap the yarn around your index finger. And that will, you know, for me, for me, this is a little too loosey goosey, um, but for you, it might feel better. So definitely play around with different tensioning and see what works for you. My finger is basically acting like a little bobbin uh, from a sewing machine, <laughs> if that makes sense, if that helps you out. When it comes to purling, it's the same thing. However you're threading the, the yarn through your hand, to purl, I'm just gonna insert my needle into the front of the stitch and bring my finger up and around, like so. Insert up and around. I'm not gonna lie, purling is not the funnest. <laughs> is that a word? I don't know, but we're gonna use it. Um, but I find that flicking is the fastest way and easiest way for me to purl. Um, when it comes to throwing, again, you know, you're inserting your needle and throwing the yarn. So yeah, you're definitely using more sweeping movements with throwing, whereas flicking, you're just using tiny, short, little movements. Little, tiny, bite-sized movements 
that make life just a little bit easier, even with continental style. Let me show you. While I find that I can knit relatively quickly with my with my left hand, um, I find that my gauge tends to loosen when I do that. I just don't have the muscle memory there, but you know, at the same time, and yeah, my, my knitting definitely loosens up quite a bit when I when I knit continentally. Um, there, there's also the Norwegian pearl, where, where you also execute an, a pearl stitch using your left hand. A Norwegian pearl looks like this, where you just bring your, your your knitting needle behind the stitch, bring it out and around. It's like a, you're doing a little dance with your, your knitting needles. And again, a perfectly fine, valid, legit way to make a purl stitch. There's nothing wrong with this way, but you can see there's a lot of movement involved. Whereas if I'm purling with my right hand and flicking, I'm just bringing the yarn to the front of my work and inserting the needle and jabbing. Insert, jab, insert, jab <laughs> it's it's very very fast so um that is why i prefer flicking um yeah so anyway i hope you found this video helpful if you did let me know in the comments down below and i would also love to hear your thoughts on flicking have you tried flicking did you like it did you not like it what is your preferred method for knitting do you knit continental english is there, is there a method that we have not heard of that we should certainly know about? Let, let me know in the comments down below. Let's start a conversation about it. And that said, I am gonna end things there. Thank you so much as always for tuning in. And if you haven't already, if you're new here, welcome. Feel free to like and subscribe down below. I'm putting out videos for your viewing pleasure every week. And until the next video, happy knitting, and I'll see you next time. Bye.